How's it going YouTube? It's Rich Junkie here. Today's video we're going to be talking about this little nifty device here. This is the Amazon Fire TV Stick. Uh, very inexpensive device. Very cool. Let's go ahead and unbox this thing and do initial setup. Let's do it. Alright guys, here you go. This is the Fire TV Stick. Um, pretty simple. It's very much like a Nexus Fire streaming device. Uh, let's just kind of go over really quick. You can see a lot of the apps along the top here that they are using, um, or that you can access, I should say. Pretty plain packaging. Um, looks like we have effortless to set up and use. Watch Amazon, Netflix, and more. We got Adobe Dual Core, which is pretty impressive for a little stick. Uh, dual band Wi-Fi and uh, 1080p HD video. Looks like it talks about some batteries, um, a remote, USB cables, and so on. It's included in the packaging. So nothing uh, too exciting right there. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. It does have a little nice peel tab. Makes it simple enough. Slide it open and you can kind of make out right there. Fire TV stick. Very nice plain boring packaging. Let's go ahead and open this baby up. There you go. How's that for easy enough? Orange. Lots of orange. So we have our remote, which we'll go over. The stick, which is very much like a Chromecast stick. Um, some packaging. A manual, which nobody ever reads. A USB cable looks like. A power brick some batteries which are right actually in here it's very interesting just loose and what looks to be like an HDMI uh, extender cable blah 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 pretty boring right let's open these up and take a closer look first things first you have the Amazon Fire Stick right here um, there is not that much to it you can see a little port on the side that says power um, some FCC stuff on the back nothing on this side Nothing there, and then the obviously HDMI cable, which also obviously functions with the adapter, which or the extender, I guess maybe is a better word. This just makes it so that you can plug it in a little farther away from your TV. So if you want to do that, it doesn't have to be directly right there. You got a little bit of flexibility if you use the little extender cable. So that is the stick. Not a lot to it. Here's your power brick, which is, you know, not super exciting. It does fold in. Kind of feels cheap actually. But uh, it says 5 watts on it. And it is uh, USB, standard USB right there. So power brick. Um, nobody cares about this stuff, but um, USB to micro USB cable for power. Has to plug into the side of the device. Like a so. If I can get it to plug in. There we go. Voila. And then we have the remote right here, which is um, pretty cool. Uh, pretty standard, nothing too exciting. You know, a little panel on the back for the batteries, if I can open them. There we go. And you even have your Amazon branding on the batteries. Very nice, Amazon. Nice work with the branding. Um, kind of standard, looks very much like the Fire TV remote. Um, which I actually have one right next to me here so you can see it's basically the exact same remote minus the microphone button on the side or on the top up there um, Amazon branding on the bottom this is a nice this is a sleek feeling remote this one kind of feels plasticky a little bit cheap but um, you know you get what you pay for you guys may or I may not know but uh, I mean I got this thing for 20 bucks so fire stick um, Fire TV stick for 20 bucks. Why not? I'd buy almost anything for 20 bucks to play with it and test it out. So there you go. That is all of the contents of the package. Da -da -da -da! Recent and so on. So here you go. This is your interface. This is pretty much dead on with the Amazon Fire TV player, but we have the Fire TV stick. So let's go ahead and just kind of peruse movies, TV shows, watch videos, 
games. So standard same stuff there. Apps. So apps, your app library, I have none in there right now. And so on, music, photos, which he talked about with the cloud. And then let's kind of go over here and see what we have. Uh, display sounds, display and sounds, screen savers, scaling, audio, enable display mirroring, which works with other uh, Fire tablets, like Fire HD and stuff like that. Here's controllers, so Amazon, TV remote, Bluetooth gaming controller. I think, let me try this really quick. I think I can link... Um, add a new remote. So press home for 10 seconds on the new remote. Doop de doop de doo. I'm doing that. How many is 10 seconds? Um, select the remote you want to add. I think that one. Is it pairing? I want to see if it pairs my new remote. Oh, I think it did. Let's find out. Oh, it did. Oh, sweet. All right, cool. So now I just paired an extra one of the Fire TV remotes with it that does have the microphone functionality. So actually both of my remotes function now. Boom, boom. Very cool. So I'll go back out of that. Let me go, actually, let me go right back into, into settings one last time and just kind of peruse. So applications. Um... Manage all installed applications, so you can just kind of scroll through them if you want. Nothing that much in there. We got system, about. So it looks like this thing has four point, yeah, four point seven gigahertz or gigs. I'm sorry, four point seven gigs of available storage. Um, there's your system version. Yada yada yada. Uh, let's actually look really quick one more thing. So can we? Yeah, we do have developer options. So turn on debugging apps from unknown sources uh, for sure. Looks like we may have to um, <clears throat> uh, hack into this uh, baby. So that will be fun. You may see some videos on that if you haven't seen any other Fire TV uh, videos on all that kind of stuff. And that's pretty much your settings. So there it is, guys. That is the uh, Fire... TV stick. This thing is really nice and it only costs about 20 bucks if you're an Amazon Prime member if you get it recently. I think it's it retails for $39.99, but I've also seen it for $24.99 if you catch a good deal. Besides that, guys, really quickly, let me just show you guys the Fire uh, TV app. So you can actually see here that I have, it sees my one device right here and it's connecting, so I need to type in the uh, pin. So I'll go ahead and do that. Hit done. Shabam. Getting started, quick tour, no quick tour, no thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and try it. Oh, check it out. Interesting. Let's go back. I would almost feel like this should have a, uh, I'm scrolling with it. Oh, okay, so you guys here, check this out. So you got you push, and it creates a circle, and then from there you can move around within the circle, and the circle can be anywhere on the pad. So it's it's um, a little bit interesting, and it's got the home button, and menu button, which doesn't do anything here. Back button. We'll move down and go back. Yeah. So and then if you want to talk. There it is. Hello. So a little bit, a little bit confusing in how it functions, but um, testing one, two, three. What do I got? to Press and hold. Testing one, two, three. Oh, so that seems to work. So the app's pretty cool on the phone. If you want that mic functionality, obviously install the application on the phone, and then you have it, or just hook up another remote like I did. There you go. That is the Fire TV Stick. Kind of going over a little bit of everything, unboxing. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, uh, stay tuned for more like this. Give me a big thumbs up, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie, out. Yeah.